Mariluz Cook here joined by Mario Duron and Francisco Bascon of Idaho Men's Tennis. The Big Sky is so proud to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and I'm thrilled to be joined by these two international student athletes, uh, Mario from Mexico and Francisco from Spain. So Mario, I want to start off with you first. How did a guy from Mexico end up at the University of Idaho playing tennis? In Mexico, there's a lot of uh, tennis players uh, that used to go to USA to study. So I have many friends that told me like, you need to go to, to study and play in USA if you want to be better at tennis and also in school. So they try like, they try and like help me with that. And first I was at Virginia and now like I stay there one semester and then I transferred to Idaho. So yeah, it's basically that. Francisco, for you, you have two other teammates who are also from Spain. When you think about Spanish culture, what are you most proud of to share with the rest of your team? Everything, the, con the country, the country as a whole, coming to another, I'm going to talk also now, my, my other two teammates, Alejandro and Bruno, they are from the, from the same country as me. So I would say just coming to another country, re representing, representing, in this case, Spain, very it's very valuable for 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 us and i think just having also other nationalities in the team is what make having a great environment you can you learn about other cultures or what i should say we we talk about food we, we can talk the the conversations are very very broad between us and being able to share the culture of spain to other people on the, on the team is what is really really nice honestly it's not easy uh, leaving your home country, but in your team, you have seven different nationalities represented. You have a number of guys from uh, Hispanic countries. Obviously, you've got Francisco there with you. How does that help uh, a transition uh, coming from one country to another? Well, at the beginning, I was so nervous when I got here because it was, of course, it was completely different, another language, another culture. So I was... I was scared, to be honest. And as soon as I, I got here and I knew that there's going to be more Hispanic people, I was like, okay, so this is not going to be that bad. Also, I feel like all Hispanic people, they have, of course, they, we don't have the same culture, but I think it's kind of like related, kind of like the same, let's say like that. So, so yeah, I just, I just love it here. The team, so good. So, so yeah. Okay, what is the food that you miss the most, Mario? It's called cabrito. Okay. Like, it's like lamb. Like lamb, lamb. lamb. Okay, no, how's it cooked, do you know? No, not exactly. I just, want to, I just go to the restaurant and they have it over there. So. Okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not easy, it's not easy to cook. <laughs> okay, well, what about for you, Francisco? I would say jamón. Jamón is the... It's coming from the pig and it's very it's the most typical food type in in spain i would say every everywhere in the country where everywhere you go you can find jamon then depending on the place you can find other different uh, different dishes but i would say the main the main food is jamon yeah i love it now you both are far from home again like like i was saying how does it help to have maybe the brotherhood and the so so many different nationalities there represented on the team? How have you found family there within your teammates? Uh, and Mario, we'll start with you on that one. Like I tell you before, it helped a lot uh, that there's a lot of uh, Hispanic people in the team. So that made me more comfortable. And also, we try to speak English between us, even if we speak the same language, just to improve, you know? And... I don't know, every time we're improving. So right now I feel like I'm in a home with, with, with these guys. Yeah. I love it. What about for you, Francisco? Yeah, I agree with just Mario said, like having, being able to learn about any other, any other nationalities, any other countries in the world is, is pretty, it's pretty amazing, pretty amazing. And I would say because since, as you said, since we are from different nationalities, different countries. So we, we make uh, the culture and the environment of the team. We all become way more together, way more close to each other and closer to each other because we, we have also two guys from, from the US and they, they know more since they are in, in their country, right? So they can teach us more about, about this country, how so we just get in some, improve our knowledge about it. And also at the same time, just 
getting some knowledge and learning out about others, other other countries. Now we have another another a new guy from Japan, which is is pretty amazing to learn also the the, the culture on on that country. I would say since we are from different countries, we have different we will, we could have different opinions about whatever. In this case, say let's talk about food. Like, oh, I like more this, I like more that. But being able, I think I would say just in general, being able to share our thoughts and opinions about anything it's just is what makes this this team stronger. I love it, and I think that's what makes our country stronger too. Is just the yeah. the melting pot that we've got here. But so cool sitting down with you guys today. Uh, and getting to know more about you and your cultures this Hispanic Heritage Month. Thank you so much, uh, Mario Duron and Francisco Bascon, for joining me today. I appreciate your time.